It's supposed to be a place where you can help someone with clothes or shoes or whatever donation you can spare. But some of these bins have become death traps. Just this past summer in Los Angeles, a man got stuck and suffocated, climbing partially inside to fish items out of the bin. Or this one in Lansing, Michigan in 2014, when another man died the same way. We searched and found more deaths in New York, California, New Jersey, and now here in Austin. It happened earlier this year to a homeless father. His story is a warning for others with images that might be difficult for some viewers. This is Austin 911. Do you need police, fire, or EMS? I guess uh, police. Okay, what's going on, sir? There is a, a, a homeless man. I guess he's um, deceased. Um, he's some, stuck in like one of those donation bins. received a call from APD Communications that an individual was found trapped inside of a, a unmanned charitable donation box. This particular box has an anti-theft hinge so that if a significant amount of weight is placed on the door itself, there is a metal trap door that closes. Austin Police Homicide Detective David Fugit has seen a lot of death. The feet of the decedent dangled more than a foot off the ground. But nothing quite like this. So the victim in this case was Roger Autry, as a 52-year-old male. It appears that he had utilized a shopping cart as an elevated platform so that he could stand up and reach into the box. You had to call the family in this case? I did. How, what was that like? Uh, it was particularly difficult. Um, did his son really just emphasize that he chose to that particular lifestyle to, to, to live off the street and um, he did regularly check in with his son so they kept in contact with one another. Um, it was, it was obviously that they had that bond as a father and, and a son. Roger Autry's death is the first of its kind in Austin, but put together the city's homeless population and the sheer number of these bins, and Detective Fugit is afraid it won't be the last. In terms of the lessons of this case, what yeah. do you want people to know? We want people to know that these dangers exist. Um, if somebody were to try to circumvent the anti-theft feature of this box, that potentially uh, it could cause them to become trapped and ultimately end up resulting in their death. A death no one should suffer. Listen carefully, lay them flat on their back on the floor and remove any pillows. No, he's, he's stuck in these, he's like in there. Okay, then can you try and get him out so we can start helping him since you said he's deceased? Uh, no, he, this is, uh, I'm not sure how he got stuck in, but it's not, can't pull him out. Have you tried? Yes. Now, these bins are fairly common, but there are not always clear warnings about not climbing or reaching into them, and there's no requirement like that in Austin. Some do have warnings about only using them for donations and not trying to take items out of them. And for certain bins, like the one in our story, some people suggest charities should stop using them. We have reached out to the charity that was using the bin in this case for more details, and we also found out that specific bin has been removed.